Can I open my eyes now? You've been counting for a while. Can I take a step back? I'm practically hugging the table. Surprise! Happy birthday! <clears throat> October 16th is an important day. Our good friend Mr. Xavier celebrates another year. On behalf of Philo, I extend our warmest wishes to the birthday boy for his... Yeah, happy birthday to me. Thanks. Anyway, consider the greenhouse yours for today. And now that I've shared my well-wishing, I'm going back to work. I'm a busy florist after all. This is definitely a surprise party. No wonder you've been burning the midnight oil lately. First things first, should I put that on? I also know that after eating the cake, the birthday boy gets to open his presents. The flower pots are here, in the watering can, under the provision tree, Plushies, starlights, and photos? Well, there's only one spot I haven't checked yet. Flowers? Is there a story behind each of the flowers? Who gets this one? Flower seeds?
Doesn't Fluffy live here? The bushes have grown, and those little ones. They must be the new members who just moved in. <laughs> Plants can survive even in the harshest environments, but that one... probably won't thrive if we leave it as is. So the seeds go here, then. Do I need to follow any special instructions for planting these? What if I mess up? Because these seeds are special. Don't move. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Yeah, don't move. It'll be gone in just a second. <laughs> it's okay. Even with dirt all over your face, you're still cute. You got me all right. Huh? Huh? I want to look at you, though. Today is my birthday. Not just watching, I want to be there with you, ending up with our faces all dirty. <laughs> I like the one over there. Its branches and leaves are nicer to look at. Also, that tree is closer to the flowers we planted. You can't say I'm biased if it's not done blatantly. What kind of flowers did we plant anyway? The day a flower blooms can be considered its birthday. I guess I should bring a tiny flower cake to celebrate. There. It's official now. From now on, we'll celebrate the flower's birthday every year. Together. But... Moonfall Bay? It's a secret. Let's go. Our next destination is listed on these tickets. You 
have arrived at the Moonfall Bay. Passengers heading to the city, please exit. Why would I hesitate? The flower fields on the city outskirts Moonfall Bay. Halfway up this mountain was a post office. This place feels oddly familiar. I was here before, on another same as any other day. I think I know what you've been doing lately. After a long, strange journey, it finally found its way home, all because you had appeared. Was it something like that? Actually, when I wrote that letter, I never thought anyone would see it. still here. The pen I used back then was acting up. An ink stain was a souvenir from the struggle. Do you two need help finding something that was put in a P.O. box? Wait, did you bring me here for something I left behind? Let me see. Ah, right? Here's your letter. Is this the last treasure for today? The five points are all in different colors. It's a very thoughtful little star. How long did it take you to draw this? and sending a letter. The post office was closing down that day. As I passed by, they were handing out free stationery and stamps as a way to say goodbye. By the time I finished the letter, I realized I didn't have anyone to send it to. So I made up an address. I never thought you'd be the person living there now. Not exactly. It was a very busy year. The flower fields were destroyed. This place closed down, and I had to move. I thought I was used to life constantly changing. But there are times when you don't realize how much something has become part of your life until they're gone. That's why I thought... If I'm going to write a letter, it should be for one of those things that were disappearing.
All right. Then, let's make it official here too. Can I take this letter home to read? We'll read this letter together after five years have passed. And if the post office loses it, you owe me another letter. It has to be exactly the same. A birthday present five years from now. I'm looking forward to spring, for the moment I get a letter from a mischievous fox. And before the letter arrives, I'll wonder what she wrote for me every day. I can't forget it, even if I tried. A long, long time ago, huh? I don't really remember, but there was a tradition of throwing a party. At the event, a boy could ask a girl he liked to dance. No. I didn't dance with anyone. Do you want to join them? <laughs> sure. Though a gentleman usually waits for the girl he likes to say yes. <laughs> I always managed to find a way to leave birthday parties. <laughs> but now I think they're actually kind of fun. Trying new things without you wouldn't be as fun. <laughs> you dance well. <laughs> you didn't hear me? Is that so?
What makes you think he has to choose between being with you and being free? You're wrong. Without the one you long to see by your side, no place truly feels like freedom. Besides, didn't we create a sea of flowers here? This star isn't going anywhere. His home is where the wavy leaf sea lavenders bloom. <laughs> 